Hi Sagittarius, let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come through for you. Spirits, what does Sagittarius need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does Sagittarius need to know? You have the Eight of Wands. And then you have the King of Swords. I'm going to go back and clarify all of these cards, you guys. And then you have the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Cups. In the center of your reading, you have the Two of Wands. And then you have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. The Empress, this is Taurus Energy. And then you have the Seven of Cups right next to the Five of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups and you have the Six of Wands. There's something that you're missing, okay? There's something that could be a missed opportunity here in your energy. Um, like a truck or something outside. I'm not sure what this is, but you need to be very careful right now at this time, or you could possibly miss an, a huge opportunity. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You have the Ten of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Let's get one more here. Boy. Spirits are saying no. Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, is I'm seeing you will be receiving some messages here and the timeline could be a little bit off, being that this is a general reading, but I'm seeing messages coming in. And there's something about these messages that you don't want to look at, you don't want to hear. They kind of leave you up in your head, worried. And this has something to do with some type of feeling of betrayal. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. There, there's someone here that I feel like you feel like this person has betrayed you in some way. And so you're kind of blindfolding yourself to whoever this is. Even though there's messages going back and forth, you're thinking, I know who you are. I know what you did to me. And then we have the King of Swords here. So you're up in your mind, you, you know, and you've made a decision. And your decision here is to stand your ground. But here you are, and do not pay attention to the gender but you are the queen of wands here and you have a messenger here coming in that's going to be sending you a message i keep seeing a message a messenger but i feel like you've made up your mind you've made a decision here that someone that someone has betrayed you in some way. 
It's like, go ahead, run around, do whatever you're, whatever you want to do. But I've made up my mind. I've made a decision. Because someone still wants to keep this action going back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, I really feel like, you know, you, you feel like I am done. The Nine of Wands is here. The Wounded Warrior is here. You've betrayed me enough. You've lied to me enough. Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. Yeah, there's injustice. There's a lie. There's something here that you don't see and you know it's not right. Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. You know someone's trying to cover something up, but they're very, they're being very insistent. Like, no, nope, 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 nope. I want to be here. I want to be here. But you put up your walls. You're like, no, I've had enough. Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. Problem is, I just saw the Hierophant. You know, it wants to show itself again. There's some type of a commitment that you have with this person. This is Taurus energy. And the Seven of Cups is here. So you're looking at, you know, almost daydreaming about something new. Which is why you have the Ace of Cups. This is an Ace. It's something new. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. Or if, I really feel like there's a state of confusion here that this person leaves you in also. You have the Ace of Swords. They could go ghost. They could go quiet. The Ace of Swords is in reverse. There's no communication. Except for when when they want to communicate and on their terms and there's something here that's a lie i'm seeing this person leaving you hanging you could be dealing with a pisces you have the hanged man and the high priestess energy here so you're feeling stuck because there is a commitment there with someone but you're not really telling other people in your life how you feel you're kind of keeping it to yourself that you feel like you're making some type of a sacrifice for this person. In the center of your reading, you have the Two of Wands. So this is in the center of your reading, this Two of Wands. And it's telling me that, you know, that, that you're standing at a crossroads here. And you're trying to decide. You're not making any moves. You're just trying to decide which direction to move in. You have the sun and you have the queen of swords. Leo energy is here with the sun. Now this is telling me as you're standing here at a crossroads, you, you pretty much know the truth, okay? Your intuition's telling you the truth. And I feel like you're keeping the sun next to you um, just to just to illuminate everything so that you can see clearly. Just to be able to, I'm trying to put this into the right words, just to not hurt when this person does something again and not completely trust in whoever this person is. Because you know this person's being a flake. The next card you have is the lovers. Which is Gemini energy. Why are the lovers here? So you're making some type of a choice. The three of swords. There's a third party here. Who is this third party? In Sagittarius' energy. What is this third party? You have the Hermit, so you have Virgo energy here. And what is this third party? 
the King of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. This person could be holding on to money. They're, this person has a lot of determination to hold on to something that they don't want you to see. And so they, they seem very standoffish to you at times. Um, there's something here that they don't want to let go of, though. And the King of Wands is someone who doesn't take no for an answer. So this is why I'm saying there's a lot of determination to hold on to something that, that they're doing that they have that is a third party. Even though this person knows it's wrong, they're not going to let it go. They don't want to tell you what it is, though. They don't want to cause an argument, a fight, a conflict. The next card you have is the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The queen of pentacles. I'm seeing you doing something out of the ordinary. All right? And... When I clarify that, I'm seeing you doing something here where you're looking down at your pentacles, you're looking down at your money, your home, what is around you in the material world, and you're doing something out of the ordinary here. Someone here, there's a child involved, or someone is pregnant. You're worried about your finances or your home strength um you're you're just kind of staying here for some reason and it has to do with some type of financial situation i feel like with you looking at your pentacles there so you're like staying in control of your emotions but yet trying to move ahead on a, in a different area of your life, which I believe is some type of financial energy, or you could be rearranging your house. You could be trying to put your energy somewhere else. But at any rate, I'm seeing you here with the Empress energy, like you have a new idea, okay? Tell me why the Empress is here. Because you're looking at options, options financially you could be applying for jobs or trying to do more there's this new plan you do have an offer coming in too you're going to be really busy Sagittarius I see you running around a lot here with the Knight of Wands energy and juggling, trying to keep up with two things here in the future because you start um, taking some type of action on some type of a plan that you had in your mind for a while. I see you getting busy on the plan. And the next card you have here is these two cards came out together, the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So I want to see what this is about. Why is the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, something's going to be revealed to you. You're going to see something firsthand here. And I want to ask spirits what this is, okay? There's something here that you're that you're going to see, and it could come through in the form of a, of a internet message or something to that effect. And it's going to cause a fight. It's going to cause an argument. What are you going to see? Why is the Page of Swords here? The Knight of Swords, someone's going to come 
and take some type of action. Okay, so you have Libra energy here with justice. The moon is Pisces Cancer energy. There's some type of justice coming in from the unseen. I told you there's something here that you're not seeing. You feel it. You feel it's not right, but you're not seeing it. Um, it's going to be revealed to you. And I'm seeing it showing up here in some type of a, a form, like a, something through the internet or something. There could be a fight over money here, but you're going to see some someone act in a certain way firsthand. And I'm feeling like um, you're going to make a judgment call here because we have judgment, a decision being made. This is an important decision, too, because this person, I feel like you have some type of a commitment with this person, which, which has held you here for this long already. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy of your reading. You have the Four of Cups and you have the Six of Wands. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. The Knight of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles and the Devil. Capricorn energy is here with the Devil. This person has some type of a third party. And for a lot of you, this isn't a person. This third party is some type of an addiction. It could be a gambling addiction. It could be a drug addiction, a drinking addiction. <coughs> and so I'm, I'm literally seeing you making some type of plan here to regain your stability but you're not really moving yet it's like there's this plan in your mind because this is this is a difficult situation to get out of here but you're not interested in the cup that whoever this at one time you were interested in this cup there was love here the, there's this distance like you're just not happy anymore tell me why the six of wands is here you're going to win this battle and you're going to be set free here with the six of wands why is the six of wands here the knight of wands and the world I'm seeing you actually fighting your way out of this eventually. Okay, because I'm what I see you doing is the Seven of Pentacles is here. Like you're looking at your investment and the time that you've spent and going, wow, this just is not worth it at all. And leaving your comfort zone. You're you're moving from this cove or this this place that it has become a comfort zone to you that you've been afraid to move out of and um, all of your running around and all of your work because I'm seeing you having to juggle to do two, two different things because you're coming up with a plan here to close this cycle out and so for a lot of you this has to do with um, you're feeling stuck with this devil energy for financial reasons because you haven't invested um, something with this person. And I, I'm kind of getting the sense of don't put your don't put all of your eggs in one basket. And I kind of feel like that's what happened here. 
that type of energy where you you had love and you trusted someone and there's something that this person is obsessively doing that they refuse to stop doing so it's like you're coming up with like this plan on the side and with the world there you might be doing something online something to make extra money or whatever it is you need to pull yourself out of this situation all right so let's get some advice here spirits are telling you prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus and you have have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon i'm feeling like there's something here that you need to do like your soul is pulling you um in a new direction and it's going to it's going to bring a lot of prosperity into your life but you could feel like someone has been holding you back in some way and it's almost like an energy vampire all right sagittarius so these are the messages i got for you i hope they help you to see the bigger picture of what's happening in your energy i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time namaste